let's talk about DaVinci Resolve. Welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Jay, and if you're into things like cinematography, video editing, and the occasional life lesson or two, please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting that bell so you can get notified whenever I upload a new video. This week, and for the next six weeks actually, we're going to be talking about DaVinci Resolve. You guys may know that I switched from Premiere Pro to DaVinci Resolve 15 about a month ago. Some of you have actually hit me up online, you've sent me DMs, you've asked me about navigating through DaVinci, how to export, how to edit, and all that stuff. So I figured it would be uh, a good idea to let you guys see how I make my videos. So this is part one of a six part series. That's right, I said it, six parts. We're gonna go through DaVinci Resolve step by step, tab by tab. I'm gonna show you exactly how I edit my videos. We're gonna start with setting up the project and we're not gonna stop until we've gone through the entire editing process and the video is exported and ready to upload to YouTube. And just like in any other editing software, the first step to creating a video, to editing a video, is to actually set up a new project in the software that you're using. So let's jump in, I'll show you how to set up a project in DaVinci Resolve 15. Let's take a look. Okay, so when you first open up DaVinci Resolve 15, the first thing you're gonna see is the project manager. This is where you can see all of the projects that you've ever done within DaVinci. This is also where you're going to create your new project. And to do that, you're just gonna hit new project, give it a title, we'll call this tutorial project, and you're gonna hit create. And then you just wait for DaVinci Resolve to open up and get you ready to edit. Once your new project has loaded, you're gonna be looking at this screen here. This is the edit tab. This is where the bulk of the work's gonna be done. This is where you're going to put together your timeline, all that good stuff, throw in your transitions and whatnot. All of that's gonna be done here. And before we go any further, let me give you the nickel tour of DaVinci Resolve because it's actually pretty cool how they laid this out. So down here in the bottom of the window, you're gonna see all your different tabs. Your first tab over here on the left is media. That's where you're going to import all of your footage into DaVinci. Over here, you can see your metadata. If you play through those clips, you can see your audio levels and all that stuff. Uh, right here are your bins. We'll talk about bins in just a minute. So the next tab over is your edit tab. This is where the bulk of your work is gonna get done. Down here is where your timeline is gonna be. We're gonna create that in a sec. Right here is your source monitor. This is where you're gonna preview all of your clips before they come into the timeline. You're going to set your in and out points up here. You're gonna decide whether you want to just drag in the video, just drag in the audio, drag in both. Over here is your playback monitor. So everything that you put in your timeline is going to be viewed up here. Right here is your media pool. This is where all of your clips will be. And then right over here are your bins, which again, we will talk about shortly. Other things to note are the mixer, which you can use to level out your sound, your metadata, which is where you can see the metadata for all of your clips in the media pool, and your inspector, where you can check out all of the other details of your clips, such as the sound level, whether or not you're gonna zoom in, your crop factor, your position on the screen, all of that stuff. Moving on, we're gonna take a look at the Fusion tab. And for any of you who are familiar with Premiere Pro and After Effects and all of the Adobe products. Fusion is basically After Effects. It looks a lot different. I find it actually easier to use, though I don't use it much. I just throw in a couple effects every now and then, usually transitions and stuff like that. But it's, it's a really powerful tool and it's really fun to use actually. I've enjoyed every second of it. Moving on to the next tab is your color tab. And this is where we do all our color grading. This is where we apply LUTs and apply some other effects and all of that stuff. Color grading in DaVinci Resolve is really, really easy. Once you know the basics, you can really start 
playing around and getting some really cool looks for your footage. Next tab over is Fairlight, which is DaVinci's audio editing tool. And this is actually a very powerful tool. Let me get rid of the inspector here. It's a very powerful tool. You can do a ton of stuff with here. There are some tools that I think are missing, things that Adobe Audition has, like Speech Volume Leveler, which Fairlight doesn't have. There are other workarounds where you can get kind of level sound across the board, but you're gonna have to you're gonna have to work a little bit harder in Fairlight, I think, than you do in Audition. Not to say that it's worse software, there's just some features in Audition I would like to see here. Either way, it's a great tool. It's simple to use. You're just gonna, it forces you to really think about your audio and spend a little bit more time, which personally I think is a good thing. And then finally, the last tab is the Deliver tab. This is where we are going to export our footage. This is where we're gonna give it a title, figure out where we're gonna export it to. We can set it up to export so it's optimized for YouTube, Vimeo, just a regular H.264, IMF. You can set it up as a Final Cut Pro 7 project or a Final Cut Pro 10 project. You can set it up as a Premiere XML, or you can export it as an Avid AAF, all sorts of stuff. Audio only, Pro Tools, you name it. You can export it in a lot of different formats for use in other softwares. It's actually, a, it's a really, it's, there's a lot of features here and I can see why people actually get confused about exporting from DaVinci. Don't worry, I will walk you through that. But today we're gonna go ahead and set up the project. So the first thing you want to do to set up a project is actually come up here to file and go to project settings. And what we're actually paying attention to here is the timeline frame rate and the playback frame rate. By default, DaVinci has this set at 24 frames per second. You want to set it at whatever you filmed in. So if you filmed everything in 60 frames per second and you're not using that as slow motion, you're gonna set your timeline frame rate and your playback frame rate at 60 frames per second. Personally, I do use 24. Actually, I use 23.976. It's my camera's version of 24 frames per second. So we're actually going to alter the timeline and the playback frame rate right here in project settings. And to do that is pretty easy. You're just going to hit this drop down menu, hit 23.976, playback 23.976, save. And while we're over here, we're gonna go ahead and add our first timeline. And this is one of the weird things about DaVinci Resolve. With Premiere Pro, you can take a clip. If there's no timeline in your project, you can just take a clip, drag it in, and it'll automatically create a timeline for you based on your clip's metadata. With DaVinci Resolve, you actually have to create a timeline manually which is really simple to do. All you're gonna wanna do is come back over here to the edit tab. You're gonna come up to file, hit new timeline, give it a name. We'll just call this main timeline and hit create. And as you can see, it's given us a video track and an audio track. And from here, anytime you wanna add a new track, you can just drag the clip to where the track's gonna be and it'll create it for you. Super easy to do. Next thing we're gonna do is come back over to the media tab and we're going to import all of our footage. So I know that all of my footage is here in my external hard drive. We're gonna go to business. Come down here, go to YouTube, vlog, original footage, and we'll go ahead and do the vlog from January 17th. In case you're interested, the January 17th vlog is the vlog where I told you guys the story of how I became a full-time creator. That's linked in the description if you wanna go check that out. And importing all of this stuff is really easy. We're just gonna go ahead and click on that first clip in the media pool, we're gonna go ahead and hit Control A to select all, Command A for you Mac users, and we're gonna go ahead and drag it into the media pool. And that's it, everything is imported. Okay, the next step in this is to organize all of our footage. So we're gonna hop back over to the edit tab, and this is where we're gonna talk about bins. 
Now there are two types of bins that you can create in DaVinci Resolve. You have your manual bins where you just create folders, name them, and you just manually drag in the clips that you want to be in that particular bin. There's also smart bins. If you have a large project and a lot of footage, I really highly recommend smart bins because you can set up those bins to automatically drag files in based on the metadata. So if you wanna organize it by frame rate and you want all of your 24 frame per second clips to be in one bin, you can set up a filter that takes all of those 24 frame per second clips and just drags them into that bin. If you want all of your audio files in its own bin, you can go ahead and create a smart bin for audio, use a filter that pulls all of the MP3 files into that bin. You get the idea. For this, it's a smaller project and also I'm going to be changing the frame rate on some of my clips. So I'm actually going to stick with the manual bins. And to create bins, it's really simple. You're just gonna go ahead and right click in the bins hit new bin, we're gonna create a total of five bins. And then we're just gonna click on the names and rename all of these bins. So we're gonna say dialogue, slow motion, time-lapse, audio, graphics. And there's a lot of different ways that you can organize your footage. For instance, a lot of video creators organize their footage based on the camera that it was shot with. So all of their DSLR footage is gonna go in one folder, all of their drone footage will go in another folder, all of their phone footage will go in another folder, and so on and so forth. Me, I basically only shoot with my phone and with my DSLR, so I don't really need to organize with that. I just do it based on the based on the type of file it is. So the first thing that we're gonna do is go back to our master bin. This is where all of our footage is being held as well as our timeline. We're gonna leave that alone. That's gonna stay in the timeline. First thing I'm gonna do is hunt down any files that are not video and drag them into the appropriate bins. So here we have a couple of audio files. We're gonna highlight those, drag them into the audio bin. Somewhere around here, we actually have a graphic. That's the thumbnail that I ended up using. We're gonna go ahead and stick that into the graphics bin. And now all we should have left are video files. Now up here at the top, you have two different options. You can see the thumbnails or you can see the details of all of your clips. We're gonna go ahead and click on details for this next part because what we're gonna do is organize by frame rate. So we're just gonna scroll over to the right until we see the frames per second column. We're gonna click at the top to organize it by frame rate. And this first section here is all 60 frame per second footage. We're gonna go ahead and drag that into slow motion. Here's a 30 frame per second clip. We're gonna drag that into time-lapse, 238 frames per second. That was taken on my phone. We're gonna drag that into slow motion. And the rest of these are 23.976. The top one's timeline, the rest of these are video clips. We're gonna highlight all of those, drag them into dialogue. So now we've got a new project started. We've got the project set to the frame rate that we recorded at. We have a new timeline. We have all of the media imported into DaVinci. All of the media is organized in the correct bins and we're ready to start editing. This process, especially the organization part, is going to help you have a speedier workflow throughout the rest of the editing of this video. Next week, we're gonna actually start editing. I'm gonna show you how to preview all of your clips in the source model set your in and out points, drag them into the timeline, add transitions, all that good stuff. But in the meantime, like this video if you enjoyed it, share it if you think your friends will enjoy it, and don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell if you haven't done so already. I'll be back Monday with a brand new episode of the vlog, but until then, thanks for hanging out, keep living your best life, and I will talk to you later. See you guys.